Nefeli Lorx, warrior summoned as cooperator. Let's go. That scene. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well. A lowly tarnished. Playing as a lord. I command thee, Nail! I am the Lord of all that is golden. Golden. God Freak the Grafted. Delayed, okay. Getting owned. Oh, she staggered him. Then PC's OP. Hold on. Let me put on my buff again. He. He cut off his own head. Dragons, oh. lend me thy strength. God trick the grafting. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Delayed attack. Knocked down. Oh, he staggered. She is dying. I hope she doesn't have to survive this. Demigod Feld. Remembrance of the Grafted. Great runes. 
The great runes you receive by defeating shard bearers have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored at divine towers throughout the lands between. See the description of the great rune to discover which divine tower you should visit. Awesome. Okay, let's put Let's do a point now. Let's go vigor, then strength, then arcane until we need other things. Let's do like 111. somebody moving over there first let's <laughs> somebody over there let's see what we got first it must be key items okay godric's great rune the great rune of the shard bear godric devoid of any benediction seek the divine tower of limgrave which stands beyond the great bridge from stormvale castle okay we know where to go for that and then i got remembrance of the grafted Remembrance of Godric the Grafted hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. A feeble man sought power through the grotesque act of grafting. One day we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. What a pathetic excuse for a lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Pushing me about like that. And after all that grafting, where did that get you? Look down on me, would ya? Godric, <laughs> you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's godric that's what's left of him you can see the crown and his head <laughs> he's oh. stepping out of hello there this weasel was godric was always looking down on me he got what he bloody deserved thanks to you i tell you though what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Purchase. I have 2,800 runes. I'll buy his other ballista bolt. I'll buy that for sure. The ballista bolts are amazing. Uh, I think that's it for now. I can grind off stream and get the rest of this. That's just enough for now. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> can I, mate? Now, I can. Can I? Okay. He can do whatever he fancies. I can't swing my sword in here. There's no, this place is sacred. There's no attacking here. Okay. There's a way to go over there. And a way to go. I thought I saw another exit. Yeah. There's a way to the left, a way to the right. Okay. Well, first things first. We should go here and activate the rune to get benediction mm, 
which means we have to go to this place. I wonder if those giants respawned. I hope not. Okay, last time we walked on the right side. Let's go this way now. Left side, see if there's anything over here. All oh, the giants do respawn. Okay. Wait, maybe we can fight him in this alcove. Shot by the arrow. I can't get to him. Oh my god. Okay. We need to take out the archer. Right here, shoot right here. <laughs> you fool, you shot the pillar. I can't move. Oh my god. Okay. What? giants well that cost me all of my health flask but hopefully we don't need it oh wait i got a great bow let's see this great bow it needs 18 decks great bow of black stone Crafted by a civilization now gone to ruin. Weapons of the Guardian Golem. Extremely heavy. This great bow requires enormous strength just to draw, suggesting it is not designed for human use. It has a skill called... What was the skill called? I missed that. Skill through and through. Powerful archery skill using a great bow held in an oblique stance. Ready the great bow, then twist the bowstring to fire a mighty great arrow that can penetrate through enemies. Whoa, penetration shot. Whoa. I don't have enough decks to use it, but I do have enough strength to use it. But not the decks, unfortunately. We're fat rolling now. <laughs> 
All right, let's. I need a great arrow. Let's fire off a shot just to see it. Okay. Sick. I should upgrade this club also. Nice, I can get my flask back. <laughs> Dung ahead and then time for crouching. We're gonna leave a blood stain here. That's not gonna make any sense. We're gonna do this. In the blood stain, and then this. <laughs> Some player is gonna see our blood stain and they'll be like, this guy is crazy. Crazy like that. Birds, you say. Little birds? No big birds. Okay, just watch your little birds. We're chilling. Little birds. Restore the power of the great rune. Great rune restored. Godric's great rune. A great rune of the shard bearer Godric. Its blessing raises all attributes. Whoa. The great rune is known as the anchor rune. The great rune is known as the anchor ring found in the center of the Elden ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the golden lineage. Use can't use it. Maybe I have to equip it at a site of Lost Grace. Great runes. Great rune menu. With the great rune menu, you can equip great runes that have had their power restored. You can use a rune arc to give even greater benefits to your equipped great runes. Divine Tower of the Grave. Okay. Grants the blessing of the equipped great room. Oh.
30 32 29 whoa so it gives plus five to everything my mind went up to 15 from 10 my arcane is now 16 up from 11 wow plus five to everything whoa that's really good okay well now that this area is done let's go back to the round table hold and talk to everybody there was also the guy over here that wanted to talk to me this dude here merchant no not merchant ko this guy over here the white mask dude Ha. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Wait, he's unable to move. He was standing up last time. About the corpse under Stormvale, I've defeated Godfrick. Ah. You defeated Godric and claimed Godric. yourself a great rune. Uh -huh. mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. Whoa, he gave me his sword? Roger's rapier. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Wait, I don't know why he can't move. What happened to him? About the corpse under Stormvale. The misshapen corpse under Stormvale. That is a sacred relic of the Black Knives plot, as that famed night of assassination is known. It happened during the golden age of the Erd Tree, long before the shattering of the Elden Ring. Someone stole a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh, the Black Blade and on a bitter night, murdered Godwin the Golden. That was the first recorded death of a demigod in all history, and it became the catalyst. Soon, the Elden Ring was smashed, and thus sprang forth the war known as the Shattering. I once wished to become a scholar, you see. I've spent many an hour scouring the archives for knowledge of that fateful plot. The world has grown crooked, and if you intend to put it to rights, You'd better understand what happened to make it this way. Hmm? And that thing is to blame for the shape I'm in now. I urge the utmost caution. Don't disturb the corpse more than necessary. The misshapen corpse at the bottom of the castle. He must be talking about... That head with the nose sticking out of the ground where someone put offer snow <laughs> if someone put a message in front of the nose offer snow ah so you've met d d is an old friend we found ourselves journeying together for a time bound by our exploration of death but our paths have since diverged never again to cross though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends d was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Oh, still need... Okay, let's rest at the bonfire and see if he has anything new to say. <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson 
friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Okay. Rip. Table. Ah. Always good to see. Son. Okay. We talked to this dude. Let's see what's down here now. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Now, those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled his mark. Find him well. Now lay out your arms. Back already, no matter. Okay, let's talk to her. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Embrace me. Now, come closer. You are so very warm. Yes, I am. Barkin's blessing. She stole my HP. Do you know? My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed. And the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. About the black knife print. In truth, I've heard tell from someone else about the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so. Oh, knife print clue? But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hold. Perhaps you could make use of it? Check. You found a simple map. Check in inventory. Knife print clue. A simple map given by Fia, a clue to the whereabouts of a black fingerprint. Uh, okay. So there's a tree. Northeast. It must be one of the minor Ur trees. Northeast of the tree. There's something. And then east of the something, it looks like a tower. So in between a minor Ur tree and a tower, there's something there. Oh, the door is closed to this guy's office. Oh. Hello. You again. I thought you'd receive a summons to the round table. Nefeli Lu. We met at Stonevale. I'm glad to see you here. I have something for you. I found it in Godric's grafting grounds. You defeated him. You should have it. Make good use of it. I don't intend to make a habit of scavenging corpses. Arsenal Charm. Sounds like a talisman. It is. An iron charm that resembles 
A massive weaponry boost maximum equip load. Whoa. This talisman was derived from an unusual greatsword once wielded by a hero hungry for vengeance. Cool. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room Encher's guarding just over there. Encher. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior. Okay. Oh, this is open now. <gasps> Excuse me. Rapture. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. We need this one. Let's swap it out for wave. And we don't need finger snap. Let's swap out finger snap for wave. And we can swap these two out for other things now. Rapture, that's a good one. <laughs> Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble. What moved? To welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, Life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Oh, that was the two fingers speaking through her. Her voice changed. So the, this thing wants me to restore the golden order. Whatever the heck this is. A hand of some giant. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished. You are here to take 
Are you not? About great runes. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished. Show no mercy. Have their heads. Take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. The His run? divine blood sorely diluted. Ah, great runes are the, the children of the goddess, queen tainted by the strength, and so grace was extended. Listen. The greater will has long renounced the demigod harnished. In the Ademikodric, the runt of the litter. Receive power from remembrance. Power of remembrance menu. With the power of remembrance menu, you can draw out the power of a remembrance namesake. Each remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, the remembrance will be lost. Okay, so I can trade this in to get... One of these things. The Axe of Godfric. Axe of Godric. I need 34 strength, 22 dex. Ooh, there's no way we go that high in dex. 22 dex. Very unlikely. Whereas this one I can use right now. The Grafted Dragon. I think I can only use this because of the rune. Yeah. The great rune is letting me use this. The embodiment of the power that one that still remained in the dragon's head that was grafted to Godric's left arm. The wielder's arm will take the form of a small dragon sprouting sharp dragon fangs at the fist. This weapon cannot be two handed. Unique skill bear witness. Grant the small dragon a fleeting glimpse of life. Thrust it skywards, viewing flames over a wide frontal area. Okay. Great axe wielded by Godric the Grafted. This golden battle axe is emblazoned with the figure of a beast, representing the strength of Godfrey, first Elden Lord and Patriarch of the Golden Lineage. I command thee kneel, for I am the Lord of all that is golden. Unique skill, I command thee kneel. Repeatedly smash the axe of Godric into the ground, unleashing two earth-shaking shockwaves. Follow up with additional input to produce the third shockwave. This one also wants 2,000 runes, which we don't want to spend. Okay. We'll now wait for now. Go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. We can pick it up later. All right, well, where are we going next? So I guess we just go here next. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. There was this guy over here. This dude wanted to talk. Not him. Oh, wait, he's gone now. He's gone. He told me to kill Godric, and now he's gone. Read message. Find yourself maidenless. Off to Lyrnia with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of the Gate Town. Bravo. Oh, 
Oh, you can even see him. Okay. <laughs> A little golf clap. Okay. Let's keep going forward. So there's a path to the right and a path to the left. Okay, I can attack again. Dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. <laughs> what? Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. I mean, you can't just go up to a lady and ask her to take your grapes. She has to get to know you first. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm assuming this is a key item. I have eight cracked pots now. Yellow oozing eyeball of the infirm. Okay. A yellowing oozing eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy. Not unlike a large overly ripe grape. Oh my God. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Shabribri grape. So this person's name was Shabribri. Maiden. And he pulled out his own eye, which killed him, which is why he's a ghost. The eye was next to him. So he killed himself by taking out his own eye and turned into a ghost. Okay. And then I, she never got the eye because it was sitting on the floor. So he killed himself for nothing? Let's go forward. Blood stain already. How'd you die? Looks like he fell off a cliff. Okay, so I can pull out torrent here then. Cool. Okay, we're in a new area. Uh, the map is over here. Okay. Journey of the Lakes. Let's see if Melina has anything to say. Melina. Nope.
Wait, there's somebody over here. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. She wants to be a finger maiden. Okay, sure. Give her the grape. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. As you wish. Wait, there's somebody right there also. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most may the blessing of the fingers be upon. Oh, this guy. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Don't tell me. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Okay. Alter garments. I don't have anything he can alter. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Bok the seamster at your service, master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh, go. Uh, please do be. Okay. Let's rest and see what happens. Okay, she's gone. But Bok is still here. Bok the seamster. Are you ready to make adjustments to your garment? Oh, going up, please. Okay. A church, but no, no sight of lost, no sight of lost grace. Ooh, nice. There's a blood stain here. He's fighting something. They're all fighting something. Ooh, maybe there's something here at night. What are they all fighting? It must be at night. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a dude here. Oh, my God. This is what they've been fighting. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Glintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. How much is small? Donate 10? <laughs> sure. Well, bless you. Bless you. You are a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. 
Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate leading to the capital, and the South Gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. About Selen. Wait, he knows Selen? You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. Mm. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Oh? Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. She's a witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. About the glintstone key. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. Okay, he wants to go to the academy.